Welcome to Sika Corporation's scuff test demonstration, highlighting the importance of membrane thickness. I'm Brian Black here with Sika's roofing division. In the roofing industry, we get asked a lot, why should I pay more for thicker roofing membranes? And the answer I give is that the thickness of your roofing membrane contributes directly to how durable your system is. When it comes to the components of a thermoplastic membrane, you have the polymer, which is the thickness of your roofing membrane, and the reinforcement. While a membrane's reinforcement's role is to provide the dimensional stability and add mechanical properties, the polymer provides the waterproofing. All roofing membranes age and lose thickness over time. Increased polymer thickness improves the life expectancy of the membrane and improves resistance to rooftop traffic. In this demonstration, we are going to show you just how important the thickness of the roofing membrane is to the performance of your system. This demonstration simulates the wear and tear your roof can be subject to under normal rooftop traffic. I have here two roofing membranes. One is a competitor of ours, and it's only 36 mils thick. The other is a sarnafil membrane, and this is 48 mils thick, which is the thinnest sarnafil sheet available. I also have here an insulation board, plate, and screw, like you would see on almost any mechanically attached or adhered roofing system. What I plan to do is take each sheet individually and place them on top of the plate and screw and scuff them with this wood block to simulate rooftop traffic. First, let's see what happens when you take the 36 mil sheet. I take the sheet and I place it over the plate and screw. And with the wood block, I take one quick pass. Now you take this sheet and you hold it up to the light. You can see right through the membrane to the light on the other side. This is an indication of the loss of polymer that is providing the waterproofing for your building. Now, let's try the same thing again with the Sarnafil 48 mil sheet. Again, I place it down on the plate and screw, and with one quick pass, I then hold up the sheet. There is no sign of light on the other side. In fact, what I'm going to do to kind of prove my point is I'm going to put this sheet back down, I'm going to take the wood block, I'm going to do it a couple of more times. And I'm really going to put some pressure on it. When you hold this membrane up again, and the result is the same, I still cannot see through the membrane. In fact, if you look at it, we're not even close to breaking through. With this simple scuff test, you can see how important polymer thickness of a roofing membrane is to the durability of a roofing system. I'm Brian Black here for Sika's Roofing Division. Thanks for watching.